Today we're examining sleep. Can you catch up on sleep? Roughly one-third of the U.S. population is getting insufficient sleep. You can catch up on sleep on the weekends, but if you do, you may be doing more harm than good. Mount Sinai sleep experts say it's better to keep a consistent wake-up time. When you sleep in on the weekends, it can be harder to fall asleep at night. If you want to improve your quality of sleep, there are certain steps you can take. Having a consistent pre-bedtime routine helps signal to your brain that it's time to get to sleep, so your brain starts producing melatonin, a sleep-regulating hormone. Reduce your exposure to electronic screens before bedtime. Your phone, tablet, and television set exude blue light, a type of light that interferes with melatonin production. So if you're serious about improving your sleeping habits, remove the TV from the bedroom and turn off electronics at least an hour before bedtime. Naps do not necessarily make up for inadequate or poor quality sleep, but a short nap can help improve mood, alertness, and performance. If you want to catch a snooze at lunch, you'd be in good company. Famous afternoon nappers have included John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, and George W. Bush.